We start this video looking up at the planter on MLK, which at the time was Liberty. We're heading towards Park Gate, which is our curving road. Both gardens are on the hill above us, and we can see the two paths leading up. We're heading to the Italian garden, and then we'll be at the intersection of Park Gate and MLK. Looking back, we can see the stairs to the planter. We'll be back on this path later. It might not have been necessary to walk this exact path, but this is the easiest way to hit the clues and get a vibe for the garden. And now we head up to the Italian garden. Further up the path, we're looking at Park Gate, which is our curving road. And then we get to this mezzanine, where we will see our first image match. On this wall, we have the fountain with a lion face on it. As we move towards the stairs, we once again look over Park Gate, which is our curving road, which is currently wrapping around us. We go up the stairs, and we find ourselves at the fountain that many think is the centaur's chalice. In the distance, you can see the Greek cultural garden. Moving onward, we hit East Boulevard. Looking up East Boulevard, we can see some Greek columns. We'll do a jump cut, which will take us right there, and into the Greek garden. Ahead of us, we can see the plot of land that Andy and Brian originally wanted to dig when they were thwarted by a wedding. Behind this, we have the planter. First, we see Apelles on this panel to the left, off on his own. As we move down, we get Socrates above Pindar in one panel together. And just for fun, we have Thucydides and Xenophon. We'll now wrap around the back of the planter to access the big spot. As we go down the stairs, we're heading to the path we looked at at the beginning of the video. Taking a left, heading up some steps, heading up some more steps, onto the bench, and now we are at the planter. This is where the cask was found. <laughs> 